Now, last month, we heard from the owner of one of the oldest amusement parks in the south, Funland on Hailing Island. At the time, Marshall Hill was concerned his attraction may have to shut permanently because of the virus-related closures. He's now facing a new problem as he struggles to claim on his insurance. Mike Apps reports. Funland was still operating four weeks ago, with full-time staff on reduced hours in a bid to stay open. That arrangement didn't last for long. We're completely closed. We have not one penny piece coming in, and that's been the case for the last month. And it's a situation that can't continue for much longer, because clearly we're all out of business. The firm believed that it had a safety net in place in the form of a long-standing insurance policy. But last week it was told that QBE Insurance would only consider a business interruption claim if it could be proved that there had been a COVID-19 case within one mile of its premises and an explanation of how this had directly resulted in a reduction in turnover. Over the last 10 years, we have paid approximately £400,000 in insurance premiums, and they're saying, no, I don't want to go on a begging bowl to the government. You know, we're a company that survives on its own, own merits, and we, we have taken out a policy that we should be paid out. QBE told us in a statement that it reviews each claim on its merits and against the policy wording applicable to the individual customer. I feel I'm being cheated at the moment. It's the big boy insurance companies who refuse to stand by their policy. They know we can't take them to court in the long term because we haven't got the financial resources. I call on the government to tell them to pay up. Not, my, not just for me, for everybody else as well that needs it. And they've paid for it. The Financial Conduct Authority today ordered insurance companies to pay out successful coronavirus claims to firms as soon as possible. And it's advised smaller companies that they could take complaints to the financial ombudsman. Mike Apps, BBC South Today. Hampshire police have posted a tweet showing the...